Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video and the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Infinite Series Hobgoblin Builder Figure Wave reviews roll on with Ultimate Spider-Woman. Looking at the card back and joining her in this wave are Spider-Man, Anti-Venom, a fellow warrior of the web Spider-Girl and rounding out the wave and coming to Netflix soon, it's Daredevil. Ultimate Marvel was launched in 2000 as a universe separate from the main Marvel Universe, slashing away 40 years of heavy continuity to modern characters and reimagine their origins. So in the Ultimate Universe, Spider-Woman is Jessica Drew, except she isn't. That's just the name she has adopted as she was actually created by Doc Ock as a female clone of Peter Parker, possessing all of Peter's memories. So as teenage girls are often characterized as having boys on the brain, well Jessica here essentially is a teenage girl with a boy's brain. And Marvel said the Ultimate Comics would simplify things for new readers. This transsexual is what makes her distinct from the hundred other spider characters swinging around the Marvel multiverse, but as far as gender identity exploration has gone is Peter's questioning if Jessica is gay going unanswered. The dark red of the plastic creates an ominous feeling, and thinking of it, the bright red and web pattern of Spider-Man's mask distracts from the costume design sense of mysterious menace, as with the darker red and the mask simplified to just the eyes, the sense of menace certainly comes across here. When I say simplified mask design, that doesn't mean the head sculpt is just a bulbous shape. Subtly in the sculpt, you can make out her nose and lips, giving the expression of a living, breathing person under the mask. The sculpt of the hair might be divisive with some collectors, as generally the Lady Legends have more neutrally styled hair as opposed to windswept like we get here. Personally, I like it. It instantly makes me imagine her atop a building, wind in her hair, surveying the city skyline. Plus, it has a darker wash apply to it, creating some naturalistic tones to the hair. The deco of the spider symbol is the crispest deco I've seen on a Legends in a good while, no messy smudges, and the white pearlescent paint they've used on the symbol, eyes and her fingertips, give good coverage. Of course, this ultimate spider woman uses the same body as the Mayday Parker spider girl from this very same wave, a figure which I've already reviewed, so if you haven't checked that out, don't worry, I'll hook you up with a link at the end of this video. And it's also the same body as the Arnold your spider girl from the Ultimate Green Goblin series of last year, and the same as the Jubilee Builder figure from the Toys R Us exclusive X-Men Infinite series. I imagine Hasbro's character selection for the wave had been decided before the popularity of Spider-Gwen and Silk was realised. Those characters in action figure form would have been met by a bit more fanfare, I'm sure, but then sometimes I feel like Hasbro's character selection is more decided by racking their brains to find a character that can be realised with minimal investment to the bodies they have already budgeted. So BAM! Ultimate Spider-Woman it is. Now looking at articulation and the benefit of the windswept hair is that it inhibits the articulation at the neck much less than it would otherwise. At the shoulders her arms rotate and move up this much. Rotation at the elbow then it's hinged articulating the lower arm to a 90 degree angle to the upper arm. At her wrist there's rotation and this is also hinged moving down and up. In lieu of waist rotation she has a rotating diaphragm joint which does doesn't move very far forward but moves more back. At the hips her legs move out to the side, to the front this much but not so much to the back. Upper leg rotation, double jointed knees, lower leg rotation and a hinged ankle moving forward and back plus the ankle rocker pivot which we love. So all things considered since this Ultimate Spider-Woman figure was announced to me she has been my least anticipated legend since Protector from the Hip Monkey Wave. Yet that said sometimes just looking at pictures of figures online and actually having it in hand can create entirely different feelings. And I say that as in person, the figure has an atmosphere about her that makes me like her much more than I ever believed I would. But really an obscure character like this is probably only really going to appeal to completists. And it seems as part of a large scale reboot of the Marvel multiverse, the ultimate universe will end with the coming release of Secret Wars. So at least she got immortalized in plastic, as I have a hunch she won't be one of the ultimate characters cherry picked to appear in Marvel's new vision post Secret Wars. As promised click the video on the right for my review of the Mayday Parker Spider Girl. As ever I sure would appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Bye.